Hi, welcome everyone. Today I'm going to tell you how to uh, do a panel co causality test in the frequency domain, which is developed by uh, this, this, these two authors, and this paper was published in Journal of Macroeconomics. This uh, uh, causality test checks causality for individual countries if you want to do it for time series and it can also check for multiple countries and then it will become a panel data so uh, but it checks for presence of causality in different frequencies frequency domain so this test is a recent uh, test that is being used in panel data to check for causality so we'll start with uh, this in R so I will give you a few a little bit overview that in this paper I'll go down and will show you the diagram so what it does is that it will if you do it individually it will come calculate the incremental R squares so and then checks it against the frequencies so if the incremental R square is above the critical this critical value then it is causing it has a causality otherwise it will not so in this example it is showing that at low frequencies it has a causality but at, it has, at high frequency it does not so it is interpreted somewhere here but if you do it for overall it will show like this so it has done for seven countries simultaneously and it has causality up till this much frequencies and so you can also check it for uh, individuals uh, so i will start with the, the test for that you have to do is that you have to open this website in this website it is a, this author's google google site in which he has shared the single country code and multi country code for this test Granger causality test so in this video what i've done is i had downloaded the multi country code it is shown in it shown to me in this node file this was a file that was downloaded and what I did is that I copied this code and moved it into my R window. In this, the there is some background codes that instructions. You can use uh, these commands as an example to see how data runs. This is the uh, background function that he has made up till uh, his this point. So this is the background calculation. I have run it. So it has made a function of GC multi-country, Granger causality multi-country. Now, uh, in order to uh, estimate this model, you have to arrange the data in a specific way. So after uh, loading the function, I will load the data. So this is my command to load the data file. This is the data file for BRICS countries and there are several variables. But this causality test is between pair of variables X and Y. So you have to select variables. So in this example, I will do is I will use the tidyverse library. And then I will select first of all one variable as an X variable. So I will select X as a uh, from data file and select country, year and first variable. Then what I will do, if you see the X file, there is only one variable in the panel data format. Uh, this function needs that all the countries should be in separate columns for this variable for that i will use this command separate country into trade so you will notice that all the variables are now columns and since it's same variable i've changed the names into country names now you can remove the year variable and convert this uh, data file into a matrix but you have to unlist the columns first it will convert the data file into a matrix so uh, when you convert it into a matrix you have to tell that number of columns or number of countries are five similarly i have selected dependent variable as a gdp and when you convert it you have to run this command gc multi country x and y when you run it what it will do it will uh, do background calculations and then uh, it will it will take some time and it will report you the test values and incremental r squares and critical value and it will generate this graph and you can notice it here is that the test values are higher for all for all range so it means for all frequencies there is a granger causality so this way you can do a granger causality test for your 
for your panel data set. So you need to make sure that your data has been arranged into a specific format. If you want to improve the, the details on the graph, you can go up and in this plot command, you can change some details. Like you can notice that the critical value is uh, very low. So you can, you can reduce the upper limit and then you can add some uh, details on the multi country. You can say uh, bricks uh, Granger causality test. So, so if you do it, then you have to uh, reload the function again up till here and then come down and do the test again. So when you do it, uh, it will generate you the incremental R squares and then plot it. So now it breaks greater positive test. So this way you can improve the test. So hope you like this video. This has used a, a state of the art uh, causality test across the frequencies. And if you want to go in detail, you can study this paper and see why it is preferred over simple causality test. Thank you very much.